Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We did it together. I want to start with thanks first. You know, usually you thank the family last. But I want to thank my family first this time. My parents, my in-laws, my siblings, and everyone who did everything for me. But the most important person I want to thank in my family is my wife. I want her to join me up here with the kids. This perennial candidate comes with a wife that perennially supports me throughout the <laughs> So I'm glad to have somebody who understands champions. And she was there throughout the last couple of months there. been an inspiration and a driving force for me and thank you Tasha for everything you did everything you put up with in all places all different places including some who consider themselves allies thank you very much for everything you did <laughs> my family taught me hard work my family taught me perseverance and my family taught me not to give up and I want to thank my parents my dad and mom Appa and Amma for teaching me that. You know, there's one person who keeps coming back to support me in all campaigns, wherever she is. She believes in me, she's managed bigger things, but regardless of how small I go, in terms of where I'm running or what I'm doing, she's always there, she always listens, she always tells me what I can do, and I have the biggest respect for this campaign director, campaign manager. She is the biggest mentor that I've had in politics. Let's give it up for Giselle Janas. with her partner helping me and her daughter helping me as well in the campaign. So thank you, Giselle. Very experienced campaign manager and very energetic new campaign manager co-managed this campaign for me. I want to thank Deb Parent and Anujan Raja for... Thank you, Dad, for bringing your experience and the kind of great culture you created. Uh, it's always good to have an activist, particularly a feminist, running a campaign. So I'm glad that you are running this campaign for me. I said many things about Anujan. This campaign, I think it was so much dedication and so much sacrifices he made in this campaign. I needed to win it for you this time, and I did it because you have put in so much into this campaign. Thank you, Anjan. Not just this campaign, right from the time he joined me as a member of the team from when he was grade nine. And uh, thank you, Anujan, for all this. Time. Now, I won't be able to name all the people who are behind one by one. I can't, but I know you're all tired. Many of you are pulling words for one. But I want to ask Anujan, Dab, Giselle, and my wonderful E Day team, come on up. Come on up. And all of our VCOs who managed it. And, and very importantly, the two Dada people managed the Dada. Please join me up here.
Taksha. Now, what you see here behind me is the new face of organizing in the city of Toronto. New face of organizing in the progressive world. This is how the organizing team should look like and this is what it should feel like. And I'm proud to have done this together with a very diverse team, very young and energetic team that is ready to take on Toronto to make it more progressive, more inclusive and more representative. And yes, of course, it's a mess. Folks. Right. So, I've talked policy many, many times, so I won't take policy, but I, I will definitely tell to Ward 42, thank you for not getting tired of me and coming back again and again and supporting me with the overwhelming response. I'm overwhelmed by the amount of response and the faith the community has put in me through this election. The huge mandate you gave me, the trust you placed in me, won't go for waste. Yes. <laughs> and I, 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 I'll for sure work hard, won't give up, and continue to persevere to make sure every issue that you face in Ward 42 is taken care of. I want to thank all the candidates. You made this by-election about issues, most of you at least. And you made this by-election about civic engagement. You made sure you talked along with me together about the important things this, this community needs. So I want to congratulate all the candidates, all, all of you for putting your name forward, braving the call, getting out there, and doing the things you did to get this victory. It's a victory, it's a collective victory for all of us. It's a collective victory because we were able to engage the community and raise the important issues and be able to have a debate. After 25 years, we had so much passion and engagement to find a new voice and a new vision for this area. So I thank all the, all the candidates. I also want to thank my sisters and brothers from the labor movement for putting your faith Woo! with me again. Thank you, Brother Muhammad, and thank you, John. I have always championed workers' rights, and I'll continue to champion workers' rights. Workers' rights are human rights, and the ability to form union is the fundamental right that we have. The only way we can fight poverty in a sustainable way is for workers to organize themselves, and I will continue to do that, yeah. sisters and brothers. This election was also about unity. The Tamil community has its first city councillor in the city of Toronto, and I'm proud to be there. The community has gone through so many struggles. Sorry. We've gone through war, we struggled, we came here with nothing. And we struggled, and it was our resilience and hard work that got us here. And I'm proud to have, the, have had the privilege of being the first Tamil elected to any political office along with Logan Karnabadi 10 years ago. And I'm proud to do that again in the city with the most amount of Tamil Canadians, City of Toronto, as your city councillor. The Tamil community came out and supported me, not because I was Tamil, but they knew, as a Tamil, I'll make them proud by being able to represent every community the way they would like to see it. The struggles I've gone through, I understand the struggles of other communities through the lens of the struggles that we have gone through. So I'm proud to have support from all political spectrum, of the Tamil community coming together, regardless of the political affiliations, to work hard to elect somebody who will work hard for the community and who will be faithful and genuine in the efforts of representing the community. Thank you everyone who worked from the community.
I also got, as you can see from the results, I also got the support of many racialized communities. As somebody who has been an anti-racism activist, as somebody who has continued to champion the issues of racialized and marginalized communities, I'm proud to have the support of many diverse racialized communities to say there is an equity issue within the city of Toronto. Yeah. We got to fix it. We got to fix it together with allies in the city council. And thank you for putting that agenda on the on the forefront by electing me to go to city council and to make sure that no racialized person in Toronto should be treated unequally, whether it's through policing, whether it's through education, whether it's through public health, whether it's through employment. I will stand up. I will stand up for every single marginalized person along with Alaska. So thank you all the racialized communities who came together to put that on the agenda, and I'll champion that issue. Lastly, you know, there's this high, there's this, uh, talk about the divide between Scarborough and downtown. I think this election, we bridged that divide. The progressives from all over, from Scarborough, from Etobicoke, from downtown, came together on the ground here to work together to elect a progressive council. So there is no more division among progressives in the city of Toronto. We have to join together. We have to work together so that we can actually address the issue of marginalization regardless of where people are from. So I don't want to take any more time, but one thing I want to leave is a message for the young people who did the hard work in my campaign. My team has always been driven by young people. And you know, I wanted my team to know that hard work always pays off, and it did. So, so the youth, remember that. Don't give up. People will tell you that it cannot be done by you. People will tell you, why not choose something else? But don't give up. Persevere. It is hard. As I have always said, you know, I came as a refugee youth to this country uh, at, at the age of 16. Within 10 years, I was able to become a school board trustee of one of the largest school boards. But I always say those 10 years were equal to 40 years of my life because I had to take work four times harder than a non-racialized, wealthy male, white male. So those were 40 years of my life. But it was possible. Our work together is to make it even less harder for the next generation to come. So I, ta I thank all the young people who believed in me, but it's more the reverse. I believed in you. I believe in the potential Malvern has. I believe in the potential our young people have. And that's the potential we need to untap, unleash, so that we can get more great things for our community. So don't give up. Persevere. <laughs> Many of our parents came with nothing. Many of our parents actually not just came with nothing, came with large debts to pay. They persevered, they worked hard, they were resilient. That's the example they left us. They struggled and they made it through. And we cannot give up easily. Let's do this together. Let's build a better Toronto. Let's fight, fight to have more accessible and affordable things in Scarborough. We have a lot of work to do and I'm ready to start it tomorrow. Thank you very much everyone.